Oh my God. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I know you have been wondering, for those of you that follow me, where have I been? I lost access to my YouTube channel. I have to explain this to you. This is crazy. I lost access to my YouTube channel. How did that happen? Some kind of way I was creating an email for my son for his job. I was creating a second email under my um, Outlook <clears throat> account. But some kind of way I erased my main Google account and it was replaced with his email. Well, I was like, well, I don't want that. So I deleted his email, which was connected to my Google account, which was connected to my YouTube. And I was not able to get on when I tell you guys it's been months and I was able to recover that old email that was created for him because we ended up having to create another email for him and everything after that it was just crazy and so right now my youtube is still connected to that particular um account but at this time it's really nothing i can do about it so yeah i have my youtube channel back I'm excited guys. I have done uh, some updates to a particular area in my home that I didn't show or haven't been able to show you guys. Well, my um, son moved out and so I took his room and I turned it into a lounge for my husband. And because I had my library um, of course, we had a loft area with the pool table and all of that, but I wanted him to have like his own like man space. It's not 100% done, but guys, I would love to share with you all the new update in my home. And I did not just, uh, not just um, the lounge area, I did two bathrooms. I, I did uh, what you call that, epoxy epoxy because you know it was just a lot more economical but i want to show you guys that really quickly i just had to share that crazy youtube channel loss information with you guys first so let me just show you um the new updates And if you are not familiar with my channel, or let me turn on some lights here. This is a little dog. If you're not familiar with my channel, please go back and look at some videos. I have done a house tour. I think I need to do another one simply because so much has changed. For instance, 
I am creating like a museum gallery wall and I have these different masks. They are absolutely beautiful as you can see right there. <coughs> Excuse me. I have obtained some um, limited edition art. So I've done so much changing and rearranging. So I need to do another video, but for right now, just kind of go back and look at some of my old videos just to see what my space used to look like. So I can start giving some updates on my what my space looks like now. So first, let me show you this particular bathroom here. And this, well, you know what? I'll come back to that on another video. <laughs> I'll come back to that one. Let's start off in here. This used to be my son's room. I have now turned this into a lounge for my husband. I wanted a lot of dark chocolate, just um, a warm kind of man cave feeling, yet it still still kind of have that still had a feminine touch for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to give a little bit of the room first. And um, so you guys can see. If I had before pictures of this room, you guys would fall completely out. My son had this room in a complete mess, but that is a whole different story. I first originally had this outside in my loft area. It was the wood and brass that we wanted to go in here, which was that masculine touch. But yet again, like I said, said still feminine enough for me. And so we placed this in here with the TV above it. I am a jazz lover. And I'm also a, a lover of black art with the emphasis on jazz. <laughs> so we brought these in here. That is actually like a little mini bar when we have company. We put drinks or uh, whatever on there. This is my wine rack. I've had this wine rack for many, many years, okay? So it too was outside. We decided to bring it in here. These two tables are from two different places. Uh, this one right here in particular is from Bill's. I started to get two that day. I only got one. And um, so that explains why the table over beside the sofa is a little different. Um, this is a light that I got from Hobby Lobby. And of course, these chocolate Italian leather chairs were actually purchased from an amazing estate sale, along with this footstool here that is actually work as storage, which I love that because I can... Put things in here, remote control batteries, lighters, and of course, another emphasis on jazz. Well, here's one of my favorite pictures. Um, I would love to have the Sugar Shack, but this just put me in the mindset of the Sugar Shack. And it just kind of, for me, embodied everything that I wanted out of this room, okay? It's just... Fun. You see, they have the pool table there. I have the pool table outside of here. So this room is just an extension of our entertainment area. Span over here. More jazz. More black art. I love these men here. These tall skinny guys. They are so gorgeous, everyone. And this table here actually came from Marshall's. And I think it's a great fit. Because I, I think this this that works for the um, sofa because it is a little higher than a chair a little longer a little wider so that table actually did work out perfect back here <laughs> as you can see we went with this curved light which kind of matches our curved uh, lamp over here so we wanted also the feel of living in like and i guess you could say like an urban more modernized loft downtown Atlanta or downtown in city living. We kind of wanted to recreate that in here. And again, here is an amazing art piece. It is absolutely beautiful. The abstract, uh, abstract art, uh, uh, jazz art. I love that. And moving over here, 
another estate sale find. And this is absolutely beautiful, guys. This is, um, uh, is this mar yeah, this is marble on here. It is extremely heavy. It just kind of gave us, again, that modern abstract feeling, which I absolutely love. I wanted to put drinks up here. So when my husband is up here with guests or just, you know, even just us, we can pour us a nice glass of, I think that's VSOP. <laughs> just let, pour us a nice glass or as you saw earlier, the wine rack. So... Again, this is a lounge, so we're emphasizing on having a great time, great drinks. Um, the only thing we don't do in here, the cigar smoking, because we don't like the smoking at home. But outside of that, you know, just creating that lounge vibe. I absolutely love him. And that's another jazz picture there. This is one of my favorites as well. You can't really see that light is killing. And here is just a cool heater that lights up. It is just really cool during the winter time. You can sit in here, turn that on. It gives like this amazing glow and it just creates like this amazing vibe. I just absolutely love it. I put something here in the corner right here by the bathroom, span over. And this is a beautiful abstract painting that was um, gifted to me by my cousin. And um, which actually really started getting me into bringing or uh, trying to bring like limited edition, uh, original art and just just amazing African-American art uh, and African art. And just just black art and just black art as a whole into my home. So I absolutely love that. And in the bathroom, we did an epoxy. And that's the epoxy that we used. Isn't it amazing? I love the color because it does go very well with the floors, which at first I was like, I'm not sure if I want these gray looking floors. They're not necessarily gray, but they did come out with more of the farmhouse look. So I wasn't quite sure if that's what I wanted to do, but I love the fact that I did it. I am still working on my bathroom, but I just want to show you how great the epoxy turned out. And yeah, guys, that is the lounge so far. Like I said, I am still adding, um, adding different art, uh, adding different decor. And it has been so much fun just kind of creating this room and creating this space for him. Like I said, I have my space, which is my library, which I will show you on my next video, what my library looks like in that. And then after that, I will also show you uh, the bathroom that I added an epoxy to and did a kind of like a Paris theme in there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. Like I said, a video to just say, hey, I'm back. There are gonna be so many other videos that I'm gonna post. My husband and I, like we just hang out around downtown Atlanta. We do a lot of stuff with empty nesters, like why not? You know, we have a great time and I want in our beautiful home. We love it here. That's why I want to create this wonderful space, you know, because we're in a time where now we are just about enjoying ourselves. And that's exactly what we're doing. So, like I said, thumbs up, like, subscribe. Check out my husband's channel, Lifestyle and Dreams. He has so many things that he's posted around uh, Atlanta, some vacations that we've gone on. So, check out his channel. Listen. Please stick with me. I am back. I don't plan on losing access to my channel again. So spread the word. Tell everyone to come over and join. They're going to be home decor. They're going to be outings. They're going to be vacations. It's just going to be a fun time. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell so you can know when I post. Okay. All right. Bye guys.